I'm Jan Hanna for CDTV down at here in New York City, and we have Andrew Schreg joining us from Chicago, Illinois. He is the co-owner of MoneyCrashers.com, which is a personal finance site. Thanks for joining us, Andrew. Thanks very much for having me. So, Andrew, well, let's talk about the uh, MoneyCrashers.com website. Tell, tell us about the uh, website. Yeah, it's basically a site that provides education, tips, and strategies across a wide variety of uh, financial and business topics. So anything from getting out of debt to investing to starting your own business. Uh, We'll also analyze recent economic policy and and changes in the economy and unemployment rates. So, So we're really here to provide some quality education across a wide variety of topics that hopefully can help people not only better understand the economy and and what's currently going on, but also apply some good tips and strategies to their own financial lives. Nice, nice. So what do you have for us today? Yeah, the popular article of recent uh, weeks has been a piece called uh, Great Career Fields for the Future, where we delve into some of the top fields that are high-paying and in-demand for uh, potential workers, and especially in this economy with unemployment rates still at, at pretty alarmingly highs, uh, people are looking for the fields that they should be uh, applying for. Perhaps if they're going through college, what, where should you be angling your career? And, and we've tried to pinpoint those 10 areas of career fields that people can gain some great expertise in and hopefully make money and, and avoid this unemployment downturn. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree with you because uh, nowadays we need to um, adjust to whatever's in demand. I mean, if you had to retrain yourself, you need to actually go out there and learn or go back to school and, and learn what you need to do in order to become competitive again in this current uh, economic climate that we have here in the U.S. Right, that's exactly right. You can't necessarily just jump from the medical field to the technology sector or uh, education arena to financial services, which are a few of the areas that we've pinpointed. It often does require uh, not only additional education, but also work experience. Okay, so now that you've teased us with the the, uh, title of the uh, article, tell us some more about it. Yeah, so basically we pinpointed the 10 most popular career fields as measured by not only income potential, which is obviously at the forefront of of many people's priorities when it comes to finding a job, but also demand for workers. So what areas are not as saturated for potential employees, potential workers? So areas like law, for example, did not make the list because they're so many people coming out of law school and and even those coming out of the top Ivy League schools are still unemployed and and we we tried to keep those out of the list and really focus on the ones where people have the best chance of getting a job and getting one that's going to pay them very well. Okay, so you have the uh, top 10. Can you tell us uh, a couple of the uh, uh, jobs? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll I'll start with the the top five. The, The first one's the medical field, which surprises a lot of people. Everyone thinks of going to medical school for four years, residency for four or five more years, but there are other areas in the medical field where you can get a great job but not have to have a a huge prior history in it. So things like certified registered nurse, nurse anesthesiologists, uh, nurse practitioners, uh, physician assistants, and then going on to the technology sector, software architects, system engineers, software engineers, and and su- another surprising one is financial services. There are actually a lot of financial services positions where you can get a great job, get some great income, and and be in an area currently that maybe isn't even in financial services, but you can kind of switch switch fields, gain the necessary work experience and education, and, and move into a position like an accountant or a financial advisor. Okay, so overall, what will be the top earner 
out of all the list? It, it all depends on the experience that you have, or is there like a clear winner with regards to the top earners within your list? Yeah, it, it, all of these positions have pretty wide ranges depending on, on your experience, your success. I mean, theoretically, the, probably the biggest potential would be in sales. If you're a sales executive or even just, just a, a even low on the to totem pole salesperson, if you're in the right industry, the right company, and you're doing billions of dollars of sales and still just getting a couple percent on your sales or getting huge bonuses, you could get a, a massive amount of income in, in any given year, but there's also much more risk. It's a lot more sensitive to the underlying economy, how, how your sales are, so you could do great one year, poor another year. There you go. That's Andrew Schreg, the co-owner of com, joining us from Chicago. And I'm John Hanna for cdtv.net in New York City.